Hey, hey, what's up, YouTubers? Um, Frankie here, and I have decided to start myself a little uh, vlog. Huh. Um, as uh, if you've been following me for any amount of time, or if, uh, even if you're not following me and you just happen to look at uh, some of my videos that I've posted, I've got a playlist um, that I've named Go Karting. And as you know, um, I've posted up uh, several videos of, uh, of um, me uh, go-karting, mostly at rental tracks. Um, as of lately, uh, um, not as of lately, but um, my, my favorite one that I've uh, enjoyed going to is the one down in Orlando, um, <clears throat> Orlando Kart Center in Orlando, Florida. Uh, it's an outdoor rental uh, track facility. Um, but it's uh, it's a good sized track, and uh, not only do they have rental carts there, but uh, they also um, host uh, actual real life go kart races and stuff like that. So, uh, anyways, I love going there. It's my favorite track to go to. And um, just a couple of weeks ago, I went down there with some uh, buddies of mine, and uh, one of the guys uh, one of the guys mentioned he said, "Dude, why don't we just all you know?" <laughs> buy go-karts and just race and I was like ah. we kind of laughed it off and I was like wait a minute that's an idea why did I never think of that when you think about the expense I live in Jacksonville Florida so it's a two and a half hour drive one way for us to go down to Orlando to, to, to go racing so they're um they're a three race pack uh it really caught it costs about with tax and everything costs about 85 dollars or something something around there about 85 dollars to go down to, uh, and, and race uh three races on their rental carts and um <clears throat> and so uh i started doing the math and when you figure in gas travel time uh meals you know when you go down there hey you're spending close to 150 bucks right uh, every time you want to go down there and as much as I love go-kart racing whether it's on the outdoor track or indoor track again here in Florida at least close to Jacksonville the best indoor tracks are down there in Orlando as well so regardless if I want to go racing anywhere um, I got to go down to Orlando so yeah it's an easy 150 bucks uh, every time I want to go down there and usually I try and go down there about once a month uh, if I can because I like I said I love racing so you do the math, and that really adds up. Uh, and, and you know, in a year, you're you're spending you know close to fifteen hundred dollars or, or whatnot. So um, yeah, so I have decided. Uh, he got me thinking, and um, he got me searching. And so uh, last weekend, I decided to uh, attend the the first uh, season race here in Jacksonville. There is a um, there's a club, go kart racing club here in Jacksonville called North Florida Kart Club. Uh, and um, and so I decided, you know what, I'm going to go down to the race and and check it out and see what it's all about. See, you know, see if I can meet some people, talk to them. Uh, and I tell you what, I, I got, I was hooked. I was hooked. It was so much fun. Um, I posted the video uh, on YouTube, um, and I was just, I knew right then and there, yeah, this is what I want to do. So I immediately started, uh, you know, shopping around and looking for a cart. And lo and behold, I found a pretty good deal. On a uh, on a 2020 chassis, it's a viral art uh, cart, and uh, I'll turn my camera around here and I'll show you what I got. So it's a uh, like I said, it's a viral art um, cart. It's a 2020 chassis. Uh, guy down in Port St. Lucie, Florida, uh, was selling it. Had it on Facebook Marketplace for sale. Um, really good price. Uh, pretty much race ready. Not pretty much. It, it is race ready. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, I pulled the trigger and I went, went down there, and, uh, took my buddy with me, Tori, and, uh, asked him if he could, uh, go with me, uh, just for a ride. Cause it's a seven hour drive, uh, round trip. And so I could use the company, <laughs> but yeah, I got the, uh, I got the cart with it. Um, and it's, you know, practically brand new, uh, engines practically brand new. The whole cart is just, it just looks beautiful. It just was really, really cared for, really taken care of. Um, the guy, you know, is an older gentleman, uh, older than myself. Um, but, uh, 
Yeah, very, very meticulous. You can see the way, you know, his garage was immaculate. Uh, puts my garage to shame. Um, but yeah, you could really tell that he took care of this cart. Um, really, really kept it nice, really kept it clean. And um, and yeah, so it was, it was an excellent deal. And uh, picked it up, drove home, and um, took it for my first test ride whenever I got home here. So um, since then, I've just been organizing my, my garage uh, reorganizing and uh, just getting you know getting it organized so that I can work on this bad boy whenever I need to uh, tear it down maintain it after races and stuff like that I uh, got me some new um, bought me some new tires here uh, that I was uh, talking with the local guys and this is what they recommend Vega Reds for our cart or for our track um, got me some new sprockets uh, front and rear um, for the clutch so yeah just been um Kind of putting together uh, uh, some basic necessities, stuff that I need, um, and over time, I'm sure that I'll, you know, I'll need some more stuff as I go along. But just getting ready to to do it. Um, the first actual official race, um, not the first official, the the next official race for the club is in February. Um, but uh, I, you know, the good thing about the uh, the track here in in, uh, in Jacksonville is that the track is actually county owned. Um, and so it costs you nothing. It's open to the public. It costs you nothing to go down there and run laps and practice and it's open. And, um, and so, yeah, it's not a private, uh, private track in any way. So it doesn't cost you to go down there and, and practice all day long. So that's what I plan on doing this weekend. Uh, it'll be the first time I take it out there. And, um, and, uh, you know, I met up with, uh, some awesome guys at the, um, at the track, uh, some newbies, uh, some experienced racers. In fact, uh, the um, the one guy, uh, his name's Dan, uh, been racing since he was eight years old. Uh, he just so happened he's the one that actually won the race, and this is the uh, LO206 uh, Masters Class, uh, which is the one that I'll be racing in. Uh, Master Class is um, got a minimum weight limit of 390 pounds. Um, that's total. That's cart, uh, cart and uh, and driver, um, and so it's it's typically uh tailored to older people um 35 years and older uh and those of us that are a little on the heavier side <laughs> um because as as we know with the four stroke engines the yellow the briggs and stratton 206 engines um you know your top speed down a straightaway is no more going to be no more than 60 miles per hour um but uh but yeah, weight is everything on these things. So they try and uh, make the classes to where uh, weight, you know, you're, you're, you're racing within, um, you know, within a competitive edge of everybody else and kind of make the competition uh, pretty much as equal. Because if I was to go out there and race with a, you know, little 15, 20 year old kid uh, who weighs 100 pounds less than myself, uh, it's not really a fair advantage because I mean shoot he's he'll just run laps around because there's no way I could keep up with him when all all other things are equal uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool the way they do the classes but um, yeah it's definitely not the fastest class in fact it's the slowest class in go-karting um, but it is a lot of fun and uh, and that's all I'm looking for is just something to have a little blast and have some fun so yeah I'll, uh, I'll be cute as the uh, season goes along I'll be um I'll be a uh, uh, keeping y'all up to date, uh, my practice sessions, I'll be just creating a vlog, um, and, uh, kind of letting y'all know how it goes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's ready to go. Uh, it's got a, it came with a data logger, uh, Alfano 6 data logger, and a nice seat and everything. So yeah, I can't wait to put it on the track, see how it does, put down some laps, start to get a feel for it. I've driven it around my, uh, around my um, subdivision here. In fact, my subdivision is actually on a loop. Um, so I've driven it around the loop uh, several times um, just because uh, I can't wait to drive it. Um, and, you know, I, I replaced the, uh, the front sprocket on it, um, the clutch sprocket uh, to go with a little bit bigger uh, sprocket, uh, something that's an average one that they run here in Jacksonville. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the guy's gonna meet me up there at the track um and you know i'm gonna let him take it for some laps let him uh drive it see how it feels and have him give me some pointers and just uh, it's gonna be a learning experience for me you know learning how to tweak and tune these um these chassis and uh and as well as the engines you know you can't uh, can't do anything to modify the engines it's a complete stock spec class um but you can definitely tune it to get it running 
uh, its best. Um, you know, and that, that also depends on the weather, the tuning of the carburetor, uh, adjustment of the valves, you know, so on and so forth. So general uh, maintenance as well, keeping it clean, making sure everything's running um, nice and clean, nice and freely, uh, making sure, you know, ch uh, chain is adjusted properly. So all those little things that just uh, can be a difference of you know tenths of a second uh on lap times um which could be the difference of you know uh second or third place versus first place so so many so many little things like that i got to learn as i go along so it's going to be a learning experience going to be a lot of fun going to have a blast um so yeah i uh, hope you all enjoy it and um you know tune in and uh, if you're not a subscriber go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh why not right um i don't do this for monetary in fact i i don't i don't think any of my videos are monetized <laughs> um but i i just do this just for the fun of it you, you see a wide variety of hobbies that i'm interested in that i'll post videos up and everything but um but yeah this will be the actual first uh first uh, video log series that is actually specifically for something uh, a specific interest and so if you've got an interest in go-karting and kart racing and stuff like that Tune in, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you have fun. It's, uh, it's, you probably won't have as much fun as I'm going to have, but I hope you enjoy it. Peace out, guys. Y'all have a good day.